Welcome back to Raylan ASMR. So for today's video, um, I thought that I would do a little show and tell with my Magic Band collection. So Magic Bands are exclusive to Walt Disney World. Um, this is your ticket and your room key and all those other things that used to be on cards. Now you just put a magic band on your wrist and then you are able to tap it. Um, I can slide this one around. Let me put a different one on. So when you go to the parks, instead of, like you still can tap your plastic card if you want, but you can link your band to your ticket through the app and then you just touch like when I was a cast member we used to say Mickey on Mickey because the band has this Mickey logo and when you go in through the turnstiles well they're not turnstiles anymore because there's not the bar that turns but when you go in through the entryway you touch this to the Mickey there it turns green and then you get to go into the park um, the same with checking into your room there's a Mickey like this on the door you touch this it turns green and you can open your door um, so I know Disneyland still has the regular cards because um, so the reason why they rolled these out at Disney World first is because um, a lot of guests that go to Disney World stay at um, Disney resorts and um, so initially they started by just giving these to people staying at Disney resorts to test out as like a beta test because the thought process was um, if it wasn't working then they could go to the concierge at their hotel to get extra support to fix the problems with their bands and then once they felt like they were confident with how the system worked for resort guests, then they gave the option, like, and it opened up to now anybody can get a magic band and link it to their My Disney Experience account and use it at Disney World. So, um, I've heard that the reason why Disneyland does not use them yet is because the majority of guests that go to Disneyland are locals, like California locals. Um, Disneyland also only has three official Disney resorts, um, so people are less likely to stay at a Disney resort because they are all, compared to Walt Disney World, um, like, resort tiers. I would consider all of the Disneyland resorts to be deluxe resorts, um, because even though, like, the Paradise Pier, um, hotel is probably Disneyland's closest, to um, a value at Disney World, but it's still significantly more expensive than like the All Stars at um, Walt Disney World, which is like usually the cheapest value. So anyway, so they haven't rolled these out there yet because um, they don't have a significant enough group to test on where those people could go to the concierge at their resort um, if they were having troubleshooting, like to troubleshoot issues. So, I don't know, that's a little off topic, but, um, so as of right now, these are exclusive Disney to Disney World, so if you haven't been to Disney World recently, or ever, um, this might be something new to you. Um, so there's different types of magic bands. Um, these, where it's just the plain color, these, um, come with your resort stay. They, Disney has just changed it recently to where you don't automatically get them, I believe. Don't quote me on it, um, but I believe that that's what it just changed to. It used to be that unless you specifically went in and were like, I don't want a new band, you would get a new band um, mailed to you. And so I think all of them that I have, I do have um, one magic band that I bought at the parks. Um, I don't have that handy right now because uh to be honest i'm not really sure where it is <laughs> it's packed up somewhere um but so you can buy fancier ones that have characters on them there's places in the parks where you can design your own 
and put characters on them. But all of them that I have to show today are those basic um, resort stay ones that I have decorated. Well, some of them are plain, like this one is plain. Um, but some of them I have decorated on my own. So this is the classic pink one. I think this might have been the first magic band that I ever got. Actually, no, I take that back because it is style two, so it is not the first magic band that I ever got. It used to be, so this part where it goes out around the Mickey, that um, is part of the second like style of magic band. It used to just be like a sh like straight down. It used to just be like the whole band was this width and it just had the Mickey on it. So this is not my first magic band because um, this is the newer style. So. Here's the pink one. On this green one, you can see that it looks a little bit smaller, and that is because on this pink one, um, if you see this like gray part that goes around it, um, that can actually be removed. The pink part is the actual band. The gray is what gives it more holes for like to make it a looser fit. Um, so most adults usually find that these holes like are what work best for them. Um, if you have a smaller wrist or if you're like if you have a child, um, they can pop out the colored part, this gray part. I'm not gonna like do it because um, I prefer having more of the holes on mine. Um, but this gray part can pop out in your magic band. You can get a smaller magic band. So, this green one is one that I have where I did, um, I did take the gray part off. Um, it still fits, but it's a little bit tighter, and especially in Florida where it can get really hot and humid, um, I don't like having something super tight, <laughs> well not super, you know what I mean, but on the tighter side, I like to have, um, I like things to be looser, like even like with my like, my activity tracker. I like to be able to kind of slide it around like if if it was tight enough to like actually sit on my wrist and not move. I know that's technically how it like fits but like when it's hot and humid I don't want to deal with that. I don't want anything like that yeah that doesn't move. So yeah so I've got this green one. The next one that I have, this was probably my first magic band. This is the first style where it's just a straight up and down with the Mickey on it. Um, so Disney does make these little um, magic bandits is what they're called that you can stick on the holes of your magic band. I haven't seen as many of them recently. I don't think they're as popular as they used to be because when they first came out you could only get them in colors and so if you wanted to customize them the only way to do that was to put these like bandits on them but now you can go to kiosks in the park and like make your own. They also sell quite a few with characters on them or like for special events and stuff like that. Um, so I don't think these are as popular. Honestly, I think the Magic Bandits are a little expensive for what they are. Um, I got these because, uh, when I worked as a cast member, we could go to the, um, the property controller cast member store. I call it damages. I know that's not what it's actually called. And there would be packets of Magic Bandits where, um, so what it is basically, it's, they're kind of like... I don't have crocs, but I think they're like croc gibbets where it has like a little stick kind of that comes out of it. And so you can stick it into whatever hole you want to put it in. So there would be packs at damages where there would be, because it was usually three or four in a set, and so there would be some where um, maybe one of them it didn't have that little post, and so it was damaged because it couldn't be used in a band. Um, but I would get those because they were like super cheap, obviously because they're damages. And then the ones, like the few that that did work and did have the post, I would use on my bands. And then the ones that didn't have a post, um, I was into making bows when I was a cast member. Um, and so I would use them in my bow projects as like a center, like to just a little decorative thing to go in the bow. So 
that's where I got pretty much all of my Magic Bandits from. I don't think I've paid full price for any of them. Okay, and this is a different type of Magic Band decorating. Um, this is like a vinyl, a glittery vinyl that I stuck onto the band. Um, there's a lot of shops on Etsy that do them. Now that I have a Cricut, I'm looking into doing some myself. Um, so this is just like a, a nice silver vinyl that I put on the gray band. It just, I felt like it went with it really well. Um, so silvery glitter. This is similar to that, except this is a Lily Pulitzer, um, print with seashells. Uh, this one is from a different shop and not that happy with it because this honestly has never really stuck on very well. I'm going to have to like probably glue it or something um, because the like stickum that came with it didn't didn't fully stay down. But it is it is pretty. So there's this one. Uh, this next one is another I think this is another series one. Yeah, this is one of the original ones because it's straight up and down. But this one has more Magic Bandits. It's got Chip, it's got Dale, and it's got Clarice. And I I don't usually wear this one just because um, in order to keep three Magic Bandits on it at once, you have to have the band pretty big, and I'm always afraid that it'll fall off. But... Um, so this one is more of a display, like I hang them on, um, I, I hook them together like a chain like you would with like paper strips, like a paper chain, and then I hang them off of my bed, so that's where I display them. Okay, oh, another, another plain gray one, kind of boring, honestly nothing really new to show with this one, so we'll just skip. Um, this is a blue one. I also like how you can customize the name that you have on the inside. You're limited with characters, but um, let me cover the serial number. So on this one, it says Jin Erso, because that was when I was working on my Jin cosplay, and so I I don't know. I thought it'd be cool to <laughs> to put that on the inside of the band. Nothing really happens with it. It's just more, like, and you can't even see it when it's on, but it's just kind of, like, for me to know. I don't know. And this last one, I actually have a bow on it. So it's orange, and it's a BB-8 inspired bow. And there's an elastic that holds it on. So I love, like, bow bands. I just think they add some, like, subtle cuteness so that you can put those plain um, hotel stay bands to use, but still add a little subtle decor to them. So these are my magic bands. Uh, not the most ASMR video because they didn't make as much sound as I thought they would. But you know, in case you were curious, in case your home park is uh, our home yeah home Disney Resort is not Disney World um, and you were curious about magic bands hopefully this was informative um, and I will be back tomorrow with another Disney ASMR video bye everybody